Hello, my name is Robin Mitchell and welcome to this episode for Product of the Week. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the... The... <laughs> the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty of the Raspberry Pi Pico, we first have to ask ourselves, why did we pick it? Well, simply because it's one of the best platforms I have ever used. Let's see what makes this brilliant, what you can do with it, and why you need one. First things first, what is the Raspberry Pi Pico? Well, the Raspberry Pi Pico is a microcontroller board developed by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. It's based on the RP2040 microcontroller, which was also manufactured by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Now, unlike the Pi, it doesn't run an operating system like Linux, but instead it runs custom code. And this means you can use the Raspberry Pi Pico to replace other pre-existing microcontrollers, such as AVRs, PICs, and the ESP32. What makes the Raspberry Pi Pico so awesome? Well, to start, it's an extremely user-friendly platform. It is very, very easy to use, and it works with most common languages, including Python, C, and C++. The Raspberry Pi Pico is also breadboard friendly, which means that you can put some pin headers on this and stick it into a breadboard, and you'll have full access to either side for wires. It's also USB programmable, and when you do connect it to a USB port, it appears as a flash drive, which means that you can drag program files onto this device without needing an external programmer, which you usually need for other microcontrollers such as the STM32, the PIC, and the AVR. Now, another great feature of the Raspberry Pi Pico is that the people who designed it were actually intelligent. The pin numbers on this thing make complete sense. You start off with GPIO1, GPIO2, and can you guess what comes next? Three, four. Three. Anyway, the point is the numbers are, well, Normal, so you go down, anti-clockwise, I think it is, is it anti-clockwise? Yeah, anti-clockwise starting from the top right, and it's GPIO 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you don't have to try and find where the pins are because it all makes sense. So now that we've looked at what makes this board excellent, let's look at some of the features. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is the dimensions and size of this thing. It comes in a 40 pin, 21 millimeter by 51 millimeter dip style package. Now, what that really translates to is you can put pin headers on this, stick it into a breadboard, and either, oops, and either side of the Raspberry Pi Pico, you will be able to put wires in um, if you're using the standard breadboard. So you can use it with other projects and you don't kind of like have one half with no holes on one side. You, you'll be able to put it directly in the middle and you'll have uh, space for wires on either side. Now, one feature that I don't like about the Raspberry Pi Pico is that it uses a micro USB connector instead of a USB-C. And I kind of feel like that it makes it a bit archaic in terms of the connector. The USB-Bs can go a bit faulty. They can get a bit too much wiggle after a repeated use. And it would have been nice to have used a cable that's becoming the industry standard. But to be fair, by making it a micro USB-B cable, it still works with cables that you would use for your other Raspberry Pi computers. And the last feature we're going to look at are the castellated holes. Simply put, on the edge of the Raspberry Pi Pico are a bunch of drill holes that have been cut in half and then plated. And this allows you to take your Raspberry Pi Pico, put it flush to a PCB and solder through, so it's a surface mount device. Now, the reason why this is extremely important is because you can use this in commercial and industrial projects. By being able to solder the Pico directly to another PCB, you get the strength and the rigidity um, that you normally need in those applications so you can rely on it. And that's just another feature that makes this thing great. It's all fine and dandy having all these different features and capabilities of the Pico, but the question is, what can you actually do with it? Well, just as the Chuck Norris joke goes, how many pull-ups can Chuck Norris do? The answer is all of them. So in that similar case, the Pico can pretty much be used in any project you can think of. Now, one project that you could use the Raspberry Pi Pico for is a VGA display. Um, simply put, the PIO that's inside the silicon of the RP2040 can be used to create complex timing signals and very complex peripherals. So you can create responsive, fast VGA displays that can display text, graphics, and videos. Another excellent use for the Pico is as a MIDI controller for VSTs, music studios, and synths. 
This means that you can use the Pico as a very powerful music controller for all those wannabe DJs. And at last but not least, the Raspberry Pi Pico is an excellent candidate for drone projects. In drones, you need to have a device that's small, it's lightweight, and consumes as little as power as possible. And well, that's exactly what the Raspberry Pi Pico does. It's also got a powerful 32-bit ARM core, so it can process data in real time to make the slight adjustments if something goes wrong when your drone is flying. In summary, the Raspberry Pi Pico is a phenomenal platform to use. It's a really good way to get onto the 32-bit architecture where you get more processing power and more memory. And finally, but not least, my colleague Richard keeps hassling me about this, but I'm supposed to mention that there's also a Wi-Fi version of the Raspberry Pi Pico. The Wi-Fi version lets you build IoT projects from the Raspberry Pi Pico, so it is a good device to get, but it also consumes a bit more power. So if you've got an application where you need to keep energy uh, overheads low, stick with the Pico, but if you want that Wi-Fi capability, go for the Pico W. So if you want to go ahead and get yourself one of these Raspberry Pi Pico devices, head over to our Electromaker store where you can get all the things in this video that you need to make your own Pico projects, including accessories. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.